All right, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lian Duan, and I'm a content creator based here in Maryland. My goal with the channel is to be a resource to DevOps creative thought, to do this behind the screen content and honest podcasts. So, if you are into that sort of thing, make sure you subscribe to join the creative crew. It goes a long way towards supporting this channel, and it makes sure that you never miss out. All videos related to Markdown and ISS YAML files are on my GitHub. The links are below. I start a new series of videos for Kubernetes security from DevOps view. So far, we learned Kubernetes role-based access control and how to use RBAC to fix Elasticsearch deployment issue. I run hands-on demo how to find the minimum base Docker image, reduce OS packages, and use Docker multi-state build to enhance Docker image security. Also, I show how to run Docker containerized non-root user to avoid privilege isolation. And then we used Sneak to scan Docker image and demo how to fix Docker image vulnerabilities. Next, I introduced the Kubernetes resource quotas and demo how to apply resource quotas on namespace and pod. The latest, I demo add Kubernetes security context into pod and container levels. How do we enforce the same security context for all pod and containers? The answer is pod security admission. Today, I will do hands-on demo Kubernetes pod security admission. After you finish the video and exercise, you will understand Kubernetes security admission and how to use it in your project. Video topics is hands-on demo environment. What is pod security admission? Hands-on demo. How to add pod security admission labels on namespace. Hands-on demo. How to add pod security admission label on existing namespace. Existing namespace means your existing project. First topic. My hands-on demo environment. The OS version is Ubuntu 22.04, long-time support version, the check command. Let me log into my demo box to show my Minikube version. The Minikube version is highlighted. Version is 1.25.2. Next, run kubectl version command to check Kubernetes service version. The Kubernetes service version is 1.23.3. Make sure your Kubernetes access environment version over 1.21. I'll share why the version is important in next topic. Deployment YAML file is based on the video how to add Kubernetes security context into pod and container. I will use deployment YAML files to test pod security admission configuration. Close the terminal. Make the screen bigger. Next topic, what is pod security admission? Kubernetes offers built-in pod security admission controller alpha version on Kubernetes 1.22. The admission controller is able to enforce pod and container follow the pod security standard when the pod and the container are created. Pod security standard are a set of best practice profiles I'll deep into pod security standards in next topic. The example for admission controller workflow. First, user run Kube control to create a pod resource. Next, API server check the user authentication. If a user pass the step, and then authorization filter kick in to verify user permission. If pass the permission, next. All enabled admission controller check the user request one by one. Pod security admission is a part of the admission controllers. If the request against admission controllers, user request will be filled. If the step no issue, finally, the user request will save to the ICD. Kubernetes pod security admission is a successor of pod security policy. The pod security policy API is deprecated as of Kubernetes version 1.21 and well removed from the Kubernetes version 1.25. Pod security policy 
didn't promote to general release. Why? First reason, dual model weakens security. What is dual model? Pod security policy bundled to the request user or pod service account. When the issue happens, we need to figure out the results bound to which model. This is not clear. Second challenge, rollout. The feature can never be enabled by default. Need 100 coverage testing before rollout and no dry run and audit mode support. How to use pod security admission? Add pod security admission labels into namespace. That's easy. There are two types of labels. Request label format is pod security dot kubernetes dot io slash mode and the policy level. Option label format is pod security kubernetes dot io mode version and the policy version. There is a full list for pod security admission labels. You see the policy level and the policy version. What is policy? We we'll move to the next topic, pod security standard. Kubernetes pod security standard defines different isolation levels for pods. The standards let you define how you want to restrict the behavior of pod in clear consistency function. Pod security standard are set of best practice profiles. Profiles defines are hard code and unchangeable out of box. There are three profiles. Other word, policy. In pod security mission, they call the policy. Well, in pod security standard, they call the profile. They are same. First policy level, privileged, unrestricted policy, provide wide possible level of permission. The policy allows for known privilege isolation. Next policy level baseline minimum restrict policy, which provide known privilege isolation, allow the default policy configuration. Third policy level restrict heavily restrict policy. Following current pod hardening best practice, pod security standard doc, the link has all policy detail. As we know, pod security admission labels has two parts: mode and policy. We just post policy. Next topic is mode. There are three modes. Enforce, audit, warn. Enforce means if a pod do not meet the policy level, the pod will reject by API server. Audit, if a pod do not meet policy level, the pod create a request will add to the audit log and the pod will create it. Warn. If pod do not meet policy level, there is a user face warning, but the pod will be created. Next, hands-on demo. How to add pod security admission labels on namespace. That scenario for new project, that means we create a project but didn't deployment yet. The goal for the demo is adding pod security admission labels in namespace and verify them. If you would like to see the audit log, I create a video How to enable Kubernetes auditing feature in Minikube Pod security admission label are part of app namespace There is detail Let me open the terminal Open the YAML file folder First step, create a namespace with pod security admission labels Copy, paste and run command Namespace created let me use the Kubernetes VS Code plugin to check the namespace label information. Switch to the app namespace. Kubernetes security admission label to the app namespace. Next step, create a deployment resource to verify the pod security admission. Command is kubectl apply hyphen f plus yaml file name. Run the command. There is a warning message based on the label Enforce is baseline, audit restrict, or is restrict. Based on the label, the pod should be created. We run into the warning message. Let me check the pod. Go down to the workload, pods. This is my pod, it's created. Based on the message, we can enhance our pod security context. Back to my present file. Run the two command, clean up current namespace to prepare for my next demo. 
delete part and delete the app namespace. Clear up tasks are completed. Next hands on demo how to add a pod security admission labels on existing namespace. Other word on existing project. There are four steps. First step create namespace and the deployment resource. Second step dry run. Dry run is used to test enforcing policy changes against existing pods. Command is Kuba control label hyphen hyphen dry run equal to server. Override namespace is app. The label is pod security kubernetes.io slash enforce restrict. You see the error message. Based on the message, add or change security context in pod or container. Next step, fix the pod security issues and run the dry run test again until your resource meets the best practice. After all you done, apply the labels. Oops, there should not dry run. Let me quick fix the issue. Remove this uh, dry run label. You can try to fix the security context and run the command to apply the labels. Kuba control label override namespace is app. Pod security admission label is pod security Kubernetes pod security dot Kubernetes dot IO slash enforce. Value is re restricted. If you have any, any questions, please post your comment below. Our topic are completed. Today we learned pod security admission concept. What is pod security standard? It's remote and run two hands on demo. Add the pod security admission labels on new namespace and how to apply the label in your existing project. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it was help. And it was. Do not forget to like it. If you want to be notification whenever new videos come out, then subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or something was not clear in the video, please post them in comment section below. I'll try to answer. Thank you and see you in the next video.